Hey guys, welcome back to my brand new video. Now today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get Optifine, the Forge client, and get new mods and texture packs on Minecraft Java Edition. So I'm first going to tell you how to do how to get Optifine. What you want to do is you want to go to Google, or any church browser for that matter, and look up Optifine.net. The next thing you want to do, this is for 1.8.9 Minecraft. So I'm going to go to Downloads, I'm going to go to Show All Versions, and I'm going to scroll down to the newest version of 1.8.9 and click Download. Now, I haven't, I've already downloaded it before, but I'll uh, teach you guys to go through the, all of the, the process. So it's going to say, please wait 30 seconds in this corner right here, you're going to click Skip, and click this Download button. I'll click it so I can show you guys. It's going to say, this file can harm your computer. It's totally fine. It's just a jar file. It's not used to a Windows computer. And what I use actually to open Optifine is this different Windows add-on called Breezip. It's not that difficult to um, navigate, so sorry. What you want to do here, this right here, you're going to go into here. You're going to minimize that. You're going to go into your files then your downloads and you're going to see this right here you're going to drag this file with this rar zip app which you've installed it onto your computer the next thing you're going to do is pretty tricky so i'm going to right click it i'm going to out click it okay i'm going to cl just click it once so you don't open the file the next thing you're going to look up is run this app right here on the windows device open that and you're gonna click open this demand type this demand in so this uh, pres um, the symbol app data and then the symbol again you're gonna click OK there's gonna be a thing that's called dot minecraft and you're gonna click on that the next thing you want to do and this is for all mods actually so you do this with any mod in any zip thing any zip file that you'd like Gonna go into mods, and you're just gonna drag that mod in there. See, I already have this Optifine mod, so I'm not gonna do it. But if you find the Auto GG mod, any mod that you can put in here, even if you find like a mod folder, it has to be compatible with 1.8.9, or you can't play Minecraft. So always check if it's compatible with 1.8.9. So the next thing you're gonna do is. I'm actually going to go and look up my Minecraft pack. So it's Viren 1.5k. Okay, so I'm going to go to this video by 5fv, or whatever that says. I'm just going to pause that really quickly. And then in this description, it's going to come to this file right here. Now, you can easily just look up anything that you want. You can just look up 1.8.9 texture pack. And you could do easily any of these. So, I'm just going to close that really quickly. I really like this one because it looks clean. You're going to click download. And you're basically going to do the same thing as you did with the other one. So, you're going to go to downloads and... Um, I'll just use this picture as an example. You're going to drag it over here. And then you're going to go back to this. And you're going to do the same command as before. Dot run. You're going to go to, instead of mods this time in Minecraft, you're going to go to resource packs. And you're going to put the resource pack in there. This is the Byron one that I have. The final thing I'm gonna need the final thing you need to do before this is download Forge. So what you wanna do is look up Forge. 1.8.9, this one right here. You're gonna go to the download recommended, not the latest. You're gonna click this Windows installer right here. You know, it's basically the same thing as the other. Oops, my mistake. 
you're gonna open it. Uh, okay, so what you need to do, I'm sorry, I forgot this. Look up Java web browser. Now, what you're gonna do is, I mean, Java download, sorry. Yes, yeah, so this one right here, so Java Oracle. I'm gonna download this. I'm not gonna do that because it takes a long time. And from there, you should be able to open Forge. Just follow the installer steps, and you should be able to have no problems with your mods. If you have any problems, tag me in the comments. Just let me know, and I'll get you guys through it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you had a great day.